Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mike from Pizza Master. Today, we're gonna to be hooking up an awesome pizza we've never done before. It's gonna be a patriotic Sicilian pizza. We're gonna be using black olives and some real nice smoky bacon to create an American flag pizza, okay? You patriots are gonna love this one, so stick around. Okay, thanks for coming back and joining us, folks. Here we go. We're going to start this pizza up. This is going to be awesome. Patriotic American flag pizza. Okay. First thing you want to do is grease up a deep cookie tray. If you have a non-stick tray, that's good. Uh, you want to take some olive oil and brush it out. Brush the sides, brush the bottom. Hit the whole thing really good because you don't want the, uh, the dough to stick in there when it comes time to take the pizza out. Okay. Next we're going to flatten the dough out and we're going to try and make it into a square shape as opposed to round because we want it to fit into this square pan. Hello. Alright, so you stretch it out a little bit. Just open it up. Once again, try not to stretch the middle too much. You want to take out any air bubbles if you see anything. All right, now you just kind of start making it look like a square. Now the oil in the pan is going to hold on to the dough a little so you can kind of lift it up and stretch it. You don't want to just pull on the corners, all right? You want to try to give it a, a, a you know, an all over stretch as opposed to just grabbing one area and stretching it out. All right, that'll give you these thin, very thin spots. Now you're gonna to wanna to let it rest for about 10 minutes. The dough will soften up and it will allow you to, once again, stretch it without getting any thin spots. It'll, it'll, it'll move a little more. It relaxes as it sits there. Okay, so now you should be able to pretty much get it to the sides of the pan. Uh, without, you know, getting any thin spots or pulling any areas, you know, too much, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect, folks. Okay, so now you pretty much have it up against the sides. It's going to move a little bit. It's not a big deal, okay? And after this, we're going to let it rest again but we're gonna cover it with some saran wrap, okay, plastic wrap. You wanna cover it with that, all right? Let it sit for as long as you can. The longer, the better. Okay, we let this dough rise for probably about an hour, hour and a half. Now what you wanna do is, you wanna take some of your pizza sauce and you wanna add a lot of water on the side watered down pizza sauce and what you're going to do is you're going to ladle it on all right uh what this is going to do is this is going to keep the crust from burning because we're going to pre-cook this crust this pizza dough all right this is going to keep the pizza dough from cooking on the top the water will make it so the dough does not really cook on on the top where you're going to put your sauce and cheese eventually okay so now we bake this off for a little bit, and you got to keep close eye on it. Let's throw this in the oven. Now we have to keep a close eye on it. All right, it's going to start to bubble. You want to keep a close eye on it, and now we're going to spin it. Let the other side cook a little bit. Don't worry about the bubbles. Uh, that's totally normal okay there's nothing wrong with that okay so take it out it doesn't take too long like I said we're pre-cooking it we're not cooking it fully so it's not too long 
and we'll use a pizza cutter or a fork to pop the bubbles. Here's our pizza sauce, crushed tomatoes with garlic, fresh basil, and oregano. Now, we're going to ladle this on pretty good. Okay, we're not skimping on the sauce. This is a nice thick pie, and it can handle a, a fair amount of sauce. All right, we'll just ladle it to the edges. Cover as much of the crust as you want. You can cover it all the way, or you can leave a little bit of uh, a crust exposed. This is going to bake a while in the oven, so just be aware. Um, if you leave too much crust exposed, you may end up having a little bit uh, extra charred crust. But that's never a problem. Okay, now we're going to add some grated cheese. Then we're going to load it up with some mozzarella. Some shredded mozzarella. Okay, here come some black olives, and we're going to use this to represent the blue in the American flag, because I couldn't think of anything blue that would taste good on a pizza with mozzarella cheese, so we went with black olives. All right, so you want to get that in kind of a square, like a little square up in the corner. Now we're going to add the bacon, some nice, thick-cut, smoky bacon. All right, this is going to represent the stripes on the flag. Now remember folks, this is a first run. This is basically a prototype experiment pie. We've never made one like this. And although we can guarantee you it is going to taste amazing, we're not sure what it's gonna look like when it's done. So keep your fingers crossed. Uh, I know all you patriots out there are gonna want this thing to look perfect when it's done. All right, so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope she cooks up and looks just like we want it to. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Does that look like a flag? I think so. Now we're gonna add a little bit of mutsi on the top of the olives, that's gonna melt and hopefully it's going to look like the stars on the flag but i'm pretty happy with this guys what do you think let's get this baby in the oven okay here she goes this is going to taste amazing. Listen to that bacon sizzle. Looking good. Looking good. Time to give it a turn. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking this pizza looks pretty good. Okay, bacon didn't start curling up like I thought it might. I mean, it started a little bit, but it still looks really good. All right, let's get this puppy out of here. Look at this, oh my God, that looks amazing. That looks simply amazing and delicious. 
I cannot wait to get a piece of this one. Now, we dedicate this pie to all our veterans, okay, all our patriots, all our first responders, all right? We know you guys love America, and we love pizza, and we love America. So, we threw this baby together, all right, to commemorate all our patriotism and uh, all you guys do, all right? We appreciate it, okay? We at Pizza Master really appreciate it, okay? So check this out i hope you guys enjoyed the video this pizza came out amazing and um we're gonna let my brother-in-law brian i think is gonna take the uh take the first bite so he is a first responder also so first responder 9 11 all right brian so you take this you take a you get the first bite The man, the myth, the legend, Brian Regano. First responder, FDNY, baby. Thanks, folks. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Okay, hit the like button and hit the notifications. Thanks.